Hi everyone, today I have this Geek Robocook Nouveau. This is a smart kitchen assistant and this is a pressure cooker that does it all. It comes with so many great accessories, recipes, it makes cooking a breeze. I wanna unbox this, show you what it comes with and also cook a recipe for you just to show you how easy it is. So let's go ahead and open it up. So it comes really nicely packaged and well protected on the inside. But it also comes with this amazing recipe book with over 100 recipes inside it. So this is just like a awesome bonus that comes along with it. And then inside of that, we have the actual pressure cooker. So let's go ahead and remove it. Inside here, it comes with different accessories. So you have a mitt to grab any of the handles that will be hot, the power cord, a rice spoon and a measuring cup. And this inner pot is the pot you cook in, so it makes for very, very easy cooking and cleanup because it's literally just a one pot dish. So now that it's all set up, I could show you it a little better. So this is a smart pressure cooker. So there's seven safety guards on it, along with 13 preset menus on here and different cooking options. This makes cooking so easy because it's literally all in one, as you will see as we start cooking. And this just makes it so easy easy to cook at home and eat healthier and even meal prep. So let's get started. I'm gonna be making a honey sesame chicken with rice in one pot. I'm gonna show you how you can cook both your chicken and your rice together and create a delicious meal in about 10 to 15 minutes. And if you want more recipes, you could definitely refer to the recipe book that it came with, but there's also an app as well. So let's get cooking. To open this up, you're just going to twist to unlock and lift the lid. Once you already turn it on, we're going to press the saute button. It will beep to know that it registered, and then we're gonna give it a second to heat up. So we're using the saute option first, so I'm gonna add in a little bit of olive oil to get it nice and hot. And what's great about this is you don't have to use an extra pan on your stove to saute things and get things a little brown. You could do it all in here. So I'm adding in half an onion. You can hear it heated up so quickly and it's already sizzling. I'm going to add a little pepper, and a bit of salt. And once that's almost done, I'm just going to add a little bit of garlic into it to let it get roasted for the last 30 seconds or so. I'm gonna go ahead and select the rice setting and then it's gonna beep to start heating up. And now's the really easy part. You're just gonna dump everything for this recipe into the pot. So we have a half a cup of rice. I'm going to add in one cup of water. I'm gonna add in my chicken breast. I have some carrots I chopped pretty thick. Now for the sauce, I love a honey sesame with a little bit of spice to it. So honey can be really hard to measure, so I just squeeze in a good amount. If you are measuring, it's about a tablespoon to two tablespoons. Personally, I like to add in a little sriracha for some heat, and if you've never had sriracha and honey together, it's an amazing combination on a variety of different meats. And then I'm also going to add in some teriyaki sauce. And I just kind of like to eyeball my sauces, but it's a couple tablespoons of each one. So I'm gonna stir that all together, get it well combined, and then I'm gonna go ahead and add in a little more salt and pepper to taste. We're going to just put our lid back on and lock it into place by twisting. As soon as you close the lid and select your setting, the pressure cooker does the work for you. So it's gonna take 12 minutes for this to cook, so as soon as it's ready, we'll be back. And that's how you know your meal's ready. So now that it's done, you can either let the pressure cooker keep it warm or you could release the steam like I like to do. So you're gonna use this little nozzle here and you wanna be careful because the steam is going to be very hot when you first release it. So you just press that forward. Ooh, there we go. <laughs> here we go, we're all done. So we're just gonna twist it to unlock and then open the lid. This smells amazing. You can see the chicken is fully cooked. I like to kind of shred mine. You can just break it apart so easily with a spoon. It's such just like a warm, homey meal. And again, where else can you cook rice and chicken in the same bowl? So I am just going to go ahead and scoop out a serving. And you could top this really with whatever you want. Uh, green onions, I'm using sesame seeds today. 
And this is great. It's quick enough to make during lunch. If you're not really feeling like cooking, this is a great solution. So I am going to top mine with some sesame seeds. Some green onions would make it look beautiful and fresh as well. But I am so excited just to dig into this. So delicious and cleanup's gonna be a breeze. So if you wanna make your own meals super easy, super fast at home and you know be able to meal prep or make healthier meals for yourself, make sure you grab yourself a Geek Robo Cook.